hello, I'm Britt and I work at St. Mary's College Museum of Art. Today we are going to take a quick look at a work of art from the traveling exhibition, Sign of the Times, The Great American Political Poster, 1844 through 2012, a program of Exhibits USA and the National Endowment for the Arts. This is William Jennings Bryan's election poster for his 1900 presidential campaign. Printed by Strober Lithography Company of Cincinnati, this poster is loaded with iconography um, that's very typical of the period and gives it a strong reference to the early American Republic. In bold text, we see liberty, justice, humanity. This statement is columned by the 1776 Liberty Bell on the left and on the right, a new 1900 silver bell, no crack, states very clearly, no imperialism. As we move down, we see a central banner with W.J. Bryan, a U.S. representative, attorney, and former congressman originally from Nebraska, is here referencing a speech he delivered stating, you shall not crucify mankind upon a cross of gold. He called for reform on monetary systems and attacked big businesses that caused the current country's economic depression. Um, for those history buffs, the Panic of 1893 was the fuel of this. The rooster on the left, then the symbol of the Democratic Party, is balanced by a plow on the right, which references the agricultural rural areas and the working class. Brian's image is quite literally framed by two U.S. flags on both sides. Below the flags on the left, Lady Justice holds a two-tray scale in one hand and a sword in the other, with her eyes blindfolded. On the right, we see the Statue of Liberty. Below this, we also see three figures holding flags of their land, the imagery suggesting the social issues of the 1898 Spanish-American War. Ironically, the victory of this war and the return of economic prosperity worked in favor of Bryan's opponent, McKinley, who ends up scoring a decisive victory in the election. In the lower left-hand corner, my personal favorite scene of this poster, we have Lady Liberty with the acts of democracy thrashing down on the octopus of trust. Look at those worried little eyes right here. You can see how his tentacles wrap around iconography of big industries. We have U.S. Biscuit Company, American Steel Trust, among others. At the very bottom of the poster, we have the slogan, equal rights to all, special privileges to none, which really wraps up the essence of Brian's campaign. What we do know is he does lose. Um, McKinley takes the victory and we have provided one of the posters from the 1896 election from McKinley's political run for you to take a look at for comparison.